Hey everybody, welcome back to our neck of the woods and uh, Vlogmas day eight. What we've got planned tonight here is we need to go ahead and finish the vault uh, secret access door. Now you guys have seen the inside of the vault. We have completed that, that has been done, but now we need to finally start going out and actually sealing this up so that it actually looks hidden and no one knows that it's actually there. Off camera, uh, last couple weeks, I did frame out the closet here. Again, I started on these outlets. We got light in the closet, light in this bedroom. I still gotta go pick up lumber to actually finish this bedroom wall here. Uh, but I do have outlets that we can go ahead and get done in this bedroom also. But today and tonight, I just wanna again, mainly focus on, we're gonna insulate this wall to help with sound transmission. Then we need to go ahead and put up the drywall. Uh, we could do the ceiling inside of the closet too. And then pretty much probably everything on the inside of the closet. Uh, I'm not going to do anything on the outside because I think the electrical inspector would still have to look at the outlets and stuff. So that'll give us access to the front. But anything behind there, we really don't have to worry about. But uh, let's get started. Let's uh, do some insulation, get some gloves and a mask. And then we'll start cutting some drywall. And hopefully by the end of this video, this will be completely done with drywall and everything. But unfortunately, we may have to do a part two because I plan on doing like a board and batten in here with some wood strips. And that is just basically to cover up this drywall seam right here, right here, and along the bottom. So along the bottom, obviously, you've got trim, but the board and batten strips are going to come down to protect these two seams so that you don't even know that they're there. But we have to space it out accordingly so that it doesn't look funny that obviously that looks like a door. So it'll be like a batten strip, batten, batten and batten all the way down that wall and then i think on this guy right here we'll probably end up installing some like coat hooks or something so that way when you walk in the closet you put a coat hook but once this is framed up i won't have anything to grab to actually pull this door shut so that coat hook will actually be like a handle more than an actual hook but we'll just take it one step at a time so let's just get to cutting some insulation putting it in and then we'll go get the drywall and we'll be done
All right, it may not look like much. I was not expecting the drywall to have that big of a gap, but obviously as it was opening up, they kept hitting this two by four right here. But that tells us how big of trim we need now. So basically, if we wanna do like a Wayne's cutting board that will go all the way across here, all the way down this wall, and then we'll bring in uh, one that goes down this way, down this seam, one down the middle, one down this seam, and then again, we'll space that out. So wherever this gap is between here and here, all these other ones end up being equal. Minus one of the corners maybe off. We may get to a corner faster or something. Once we get the trim piece down there along the bottom on, once we get this piece right here on and this piece, you won't even know that those cracks are there. And then again, the uh, batten strip that probably will go down the center of this. We'll put some like coat hangers on it, or we may have to do another horizontal from here to here. So that way it looks even that you have like uh, three or four coat hangers sitting on here. And then you can just grab there and push. Then you're into the vault and you can grab that close hanger and you can close it on up. So we'll clean this up a little bit. We'll get some more drywall down here. We'll finish out on the inside of the closet and the ceiling there. And then we'll be back for part two on a video, maybe in two days or so, that we'll actually go purchase all of the lumber that we can actually uh, put these trim pieces on. And that way you won't see anything. Hang tight, let me knock out this drywall and then we'll wrap it up here. And again, gotta go purchase more lumber so that we can finish that out. All right, everybody, closet is fully dry, walled in. A little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I had to put the ceiling in two pieces and I probably should have done the ceiling first. That way I had a nice gap all the way around because it was tight to fit up in there. But you live and learn, right? So I will probably tape and mud this myself and we'll put some dry coats on first or a couple pre-coats before we do anything, getting it into the cracks and everything. And then we'll see how I can actually tape it, see how good I can do it. But it's a closet. It's not the most important thing in the world. And a lot of those uh, spots right there, again, are gonna be covered up with uh, some like board and batten trim. So we may not even have to mud and tape them, but. I may still put some mud in there, kind of like as a prerequisite there. But again, sorry, video wasn't too long. Not a lot got done, but one step at a time, one video at a time, one day at a time. So let me wrap this up for vlog day uh, number eight, and then I will be back with part two. When we mud it, we pry, try to uh, tape it, and then we put up our uh, board and batten and stuff and get that thing 100% officially done because I am stoked about that. It's freaking awesome. I can't wait to get the door installed and everything else 100% finalized because the vault is just so cool. So I'll see you guys back in a few days. Let me know down below what you guys think. And let me know if there's anything that I should change or modify in any way. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.